Good day. For this video, we will be solving sample problems on the combustion of liquid fuels given the octane number as a fuel characteristic. So in this problem, an automobile uses an unleaded gasoline with an octane number of 85. Air is supplied 30% in excess such that the molar ratio of carbon dioxide to carbon monoxide is 5 is to 2 and hydrogen to carbon monoxide is 1 is to 1 in the exhaust gas. Calculate the analysis of the dry exhaust gases. Take note that when you say octane number, it means that it is the percentage by volume of gasoline in an isooctane and heptane mixture with the same knocking tendency as the fuel. So meaning, it's basically the percentage of isooctane in the mixture of isooctane and heptane. Also given is that the density of isooctane is 0 0.6918 gram per ml and n-heptane is 0 0.684 gram per ml. So let's go. Let's first draw the process flow diagram for the system. So in this case, let's just say we have the burner, you have the product gases, you have the fuel, and you have the air entering. The fuel consists of 85% um, by volume of octane, so C8, H18. That means the 15% remaining by volume would be heptane, C7, H16. And then air is supplied 30% in excess. Also, the product gases, you're not given anything about this. But what you know is that the number of moles of carbon dioxide for every number of moles of carbon monoxide is 5 is to 2. And that the number of moles of hydrogen for every carbon monoxide is 1 is to 1. So for this system, let's use a basis of 100 ml of fuel because it's given as percentage by volume. So 100 ml of fuel, that means since you're given the densities, I'll just write the density here, the density of octane C8H18 is 0 0.6918 and that the density of heptane C7H16 0 0.684, both of them are gram per ml. Let's solve this first. So, on a basis of 100 ml of fuel, let's just write C8, H18, and then C7, H16, you have the volume, so that means on the basis of 100 ml of fuel, this one would then be 85 ml, this is 15 ml, and then you're given that the density of each are 0 0.6918, this is 0 0.684, so meaning the mass in grams of each are, this one would then be 58.6918. Eight zero three grams. Let's just label it here, and then this one would be ten point twenty six grams. So, giving a total of sixty nine point zero six three grams. So, in order to solve for the because what's important here is the number of moles. So, in order to solve for the number of moles, let's write here the molar mass first. The molar mass is 114 gram per gram mole, and then the other one is 100 grams per gram mole. Therefore, we can now solve for the number of moles. So for the number of moles, this one would be 
mass divided by molar mass is 0 0.5158 and then the other one would then be 10.26 divided by 100 is 0 0.1026 now in order for us to solve for the amount of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide in here we have to first know the total amount of carbon in the fuel so for that we have to write here the number of most of um, carbon atoms so let's just say atoms of C and also let's just write here atoms of H so this would then be 0 0.5158 times there are actually eight carbon atoms in C8H18 so multiplying that you'll be able to get 4.1264 and then at the bottom 0 0.1026 multiplied by seven carbon atoms so all in all you'll get 0 0.7182 giving you a total of 4.8446 carbon moles of carbon atoms now for atoms of hydrogen it's basically the same 0 0.5158 multiplied by 18 hydrogen atoms in here so you'll get here 9.2844 and then 0 0.1026 multiplied by 16 that's 1.6416 giving us a total of 10.9192 six moles so with that in mind we can already solve for the theoretical amount of oxygen needed so this one would then be atoms of carbon plus atoms of hydrogen times one-fourth so in this case it's going to be 4.8446 plus one-fourth of 10.926 giving us a total of 7.5761 moles of oxygen. Now, do take note that we were given 30% in excess air. So that means the 30% excess, excess O2 is actually 30% of 7.5761 that amounts to 2.72 oh sorry that is that amounts to 2.27283 moles of O2 so the oxygen supplied is actually when you add them that is 9.8 4893 moles oxygen supplied now in order for us to solve for the nitrogen supplied in air that's basically 9.84893 multiplied by the ratio 7921 so you'll be able to get 37.0507 moles of nitrogen now what we are being asked to solve for is basically the flue gas analysis or the analysis of the dry exhaust gases so the gases in here p so we can see here that p p or the flue gases would consist of co2 co h2 o2 and then n2 so we need to solve for all of these but at the moment what we know of is the nitrogen for the nitrogen we already have an answer that's 37.0507 moles so we need to solve for the total number of moles and total so we have the oxygen supplied percentage excess of oxygen now we need to solve for the amount of carbon dioxide and amount of carbon monoxide in order to do that, we already know earlier that the moles of carbon atoms amount to 4.8446. And then what does this consist of? 
this one is most of carbon atoms coming from the carbon dioxide so that means one carbon in one carbon dioxide and number of moles of carbon coming from the carbon monoxide so one carbon also in one carbon monoxide but you have to take note that given here that the ratio of carbon dioxide to carbon monoxide is 5 is to 2 so I can simply say here that the moles of carbon monoxide is actually two-fifths that of the moles of carbon dioxide therefore in here I can say that when I cancel out C moles of carbon dioxide plus moles of carbon monoxide is actually two-fifths of carbon dioxide so here 4.8446 is actually seven-fifths of the number of moles of carbon dioxide therefore I can solve for the moles of carbon dioxide which is 4.8446 times 5 divided by 7 you'd be able to get 3.4604 moles and then with this I can already solve for the moles of carbon monoxide which is actually two-fifths of the carbon dioxide so here carbon monoxide is 1.384 so completing the front this is 3.4604 this one is 1.384 also in here you can see that the hydrogen and carbon monoxide are 1 is to 1 so that means this one is also 1. 384. All we need now is the oxygen. Take note that what you were given here are only the theoretical oxygen, meaning that is assumed that the fuel here is combusted fully into carbon dioxide and water. So in order to account for the excess oxygen, or let's just say the free oxygen, let's call it free oxygen in here that would be, then be the excess O2 plus what would have reacted you know to form carbon dioxide so that means carbon monoxide over 2 because that is um, one half oxygen in reacting with carbon monoxide and H2 over 2 because that's one half of oxygen reacting with H2 to form water so in this case the excess oxygen is 2.27283 plus the carbon monoxide is 1.384 over 2 and then the hydrogen which is the same rate the same uh, in terms of moles of carbon monoxide that's 1.384 over 2 so all in all the free O2 that we have is 3.6570 moles so completing that that's 3.6570 when you add all of these this gives rise to 46.9361 so since you're asked for the analysis of the exhaust gases so in terms of percentage by mole this one would then be 7.37 this is 2.95 2.95 7.79 and lastly this is 78.94 that means this is your final answer